Hi everyone, hope you're well. I've just bought something new for the workshop so I thought I'd share it with yourselves. Um, I have found myself quite often having different voltage items sent in from different customers. Um, they can range from something in Europe, being a European pin, plug into 20 volts, uh, customers from Canada and, Aust uh, and America who also send me items to repair and you know, to look at which obviously are 110 volt and again a different type of pin connector. Usually I'd have to use different connectors and you know for European adapters like this and so forth. Um, so I thought there's got to be a simple solution. Um, so I had a look around and I came across this which is a step up and step down transformer um, with all the sockets on as well. So I thought it'd be a nice little addition for the workshop and I just thought I'd share it with you guys to see if it's something that might be of interest for you as well. It came from Amazon, it's quite heavy, and this is a 1000 watt version. They do them in lots of different versions, for like a couple of hundred watts to 2000 watts. This, I would never put something, this one being a 1000 watts, I, I wouldn't advise you put something more than say 700 watts on it. Uh, just because you've got a 1000 watts capacity doesn't mean you should max it out. You need a little bit of headroom leaving in them. And as you can see on the front of the unit, got a standard UK mains theping plug, got a European connector, and you've got the 110 volt USA connector and the mains power switch with indicator. This was a Amazon warehouse deal, so it was about £35 saving compared to what they are usually new, which is around about £85, £90 for this particular version. Um, I didn't think there was much point paying the full money when you can get one a bit cheaper. As you can see, the only dip reason is it's got that small dent on the back. Obviously, somebody just didn't like it or it arrived damaged. So this will just sit on the shelf, and then you've got direct access plus a nice switched bench supply um, to power anything other than UK voltage. You get a shortish UK power cable. Also a European one, not much use, um, and that would be it. So on the rear we've got the mains input, which is for 220, 240 volts. You've got two circuit breakers, one for 110, and one for 220, and you've also got up here an adjustable mains input from 230 to 110. Obviously with us being in the UK, uh, Europe, you want to leave it under 230. But it also means that you could use this in the States, 110 volts power for your European and UK appliances, ultra 1000 watts obviously. As you can see, fits nicely on the shelf there. The idea when you're working on a machine that these different voltages, you can simply just plug in either mains, European, or if you really need to use it, the uh, UK socket. A nice isolated supply, so it's quick and easy just to tap something on and off while you're working. For example, this machine is 110 volts, it's coming for a new laser assembly. As you can see, it needs to be 110 volts, as can be seen on the back label. The idea being no rummaging around in looking for transformers. Just plug that in. Turn the machine around so you can see it. Power. And as you can see the machine all powers up as it should. Ready to be worked on. And if you need to isolate it nice and quick again the same applies for european in uk so there you go that's a step up step down voltage converter from bronson it's the thousand watt model and your latest addition to try and make life a little bit easier in the workshop if you've not already subscribed to my channel please do please like and stay tuned for future videos stay safe everyone Thanks for watching and bye for now.